Chris, thanks for joining us. Um, here we are, some lovely surroundings out in Waterloo today. Uh, day two of our trip to Belgium. How's it going? Yeah, it's going well. You know, in many ways, it's uh, another working week, you know, following the working schedule. But clearly in the round, the contact time you get with the players is uh, closer knit for longer. And there's little one-to-ones you can pick up, a lot of learning around uh, last weekend's game, for example. We can uh, accelerate towards this week. Know, reflect on a few things as uh, you know, turnover of a large number of players out just to spend a bit more time with the younger ones, you know. And uh, now there's a lot you can sort of condense into a good period of time uh, and uh, really hopefully accelerate things onwards. And sometimes a trip like this is not just about time on the field, but it's some time off the field where, as you say, there's a lot of turnover of players, young boys coming through, new sign ins, all able to spend time with each other 24 7 and get to know each other. Yeah, and I think that is important. Obviously, as, as rugby coaches, our prerogative is technical, tactical, and there's clearly things that uh, we're trying to put in specifically for uh, where we want to start the season. But, you know, that does get complemented by the work off the field and how they gel together, how they interact. And not just the under-20s with the under-20s, but trying to, you know, merge groups. And, uh, yeah, there's a couple of exercises we've done to get people actually to you know, say what they're about and, uh, you know, what motivates them, what they are, and uh, you know what brings them into the Osprey shirt. Everyone you talk to around the environment at the minute, they're all talking positively about this pre-season. Uh, can you put your finger on why that is? What are we doing differently? Is there a thought process that's different or some actions that are different? Because there really is a good vibe around the place. Yeah, it is. I mean... Every team tends to have a good vibe in the summer mind before the competitive action kicks in. But no, I truly feel we're uh, being really specific with the work we're doing. I think the players know the parameters of what we're trying to achieve, especially both sides of the ball. Obviously, Brad coming in has given us a real uh, defensive sharpening. Lots of new learnings taking place, and players being challenged by that as well. You know, not just uh, uh, assuming knowledge. And actually, we've had to, you know, revisit and go back with the most senior of players around the defensive work, which is clearly going to make a difference. Uh, but also in terms of uh, my remit as well, I think that's uh, the Leicester fixture. You know, showed there's areas where you know we'd want to do some sim- simple things really accurately, you know, and not get you know too bogged down in all and everything. But actually, every player from nine to fifteen, you know, the basic parameters of job description, uh, the attitude required in terms of any given week, and that's a big thing in the round. Uh, uh, the inconsistencies we often have, but let's get the rugby right there. I suppose you touched on Brad's arrival. But I thought it's probably one of those things that's overlooked a little bit, but the impact positive it can have on your role as backs coach when you've got a tougher defence, a more effective defence, more efficient defence, it allows your backs perhaps to start from a platform which is stronger and more stable than they might have had. Yeah, definitely. I think, uh, you know, a lot of times we, we've, we've gone from having, you know, strong defensive structures, lots of experience and knowledge around Osprey history defensively, but that's perhaps been eroded over time. But it is seeing the defence again as a form of attack, and that's uh, part of Brad's mantra, which is something I've taken to straight away, sharing the room with him and talking about attack versus D and how they complement each other, you know, using it as a means to get the balls back. There's things structurally where we'll have backs in the right positions to take advantage of turnover attack, for example, even better positions to counter-attack. So we're you know, singing off the same hymn sheet and getting competitive in training as well around you know where the focus shouldn't be attack or D actually both ends have got to complement each other and probably doing more specific decision making that ends excites me as well and obviously we're building towards Zebra on the first weekend of September to Liberty the action started last weekend against Leicester it was a positive outcome on the field on the scoreboard Um, but as a coach what do you take out of the game? Yeah, as most pre-season games, there was there was certainly scratchy elements um, in the round. You know, perhaps some of uh, the kick returns. So talk about that, about that as a source of possession is something we've got to you know tidy up in our general game in terms of how we try and understand who goes where to, to perhaps manipulate defenders in a certain way. Uh, and we got a bit narrow on some of the stuff we did. Um, but you know, backs, you know, were generally understanding what we were trying to do in the 22, albeit one or two exceptions. We spent a lot of time in the 22, and we did convert some pressure to points alongside some smart work in the mid third. And again, we didn't overdo things, which can be the mantra in some pre-season games. We were, you know, pretty understanding of what we were trying to do in terms of run, pass, or kick uh, at any given time. Now we're switching attention to Friday night here in Waterloo as the Belgian national side. What are you expecting from them and what are you looking to get out of the match? Uh, I think they'll be a you know, physical, combative group. You know, I've been 
uh, around sort of different circuits around uh, sevens with Belgium, Germany, and I've seen the German national side, in, and they're pretty close to them in the world rankings. So they'll be really combative. I think the breakdown could be a tussle. Uh, I think set piece uh, it could be a real challenge, and I think that's got to be a you know a theme for us to try and embrace and get our stuff right there because that's huge going towards the challenges you just said. Not just Zebra, you know, but Connor, Treviso, weeks two and three have developed their set piece game enormously. So we've got to get those foundations of our game right. Uh, and as I said, with the mix of selection we've got as well, try and get some moments where we can open our game up as well, where we showed glimpses last week, but again, we want to perhaps take the next step as well. And that will continue then, less of the following week, building blocks week on week to be ready for the big start of the Pro 12. Yeah, I think less of the way physically, you know, it's probably last week was a high ball in play game, so aerobically it was a tough challenge. Uh, but I think physically going up to Welford Road with perhaps a couple of different Leicester selections, that'll be another notch up again, I think, which is perfect in those terms. Uh, and we've got to adjust accordingly around those, those, those sort of affairs and the set piece game to complement it as well. Um, the backs as well in around that Welford Road ground, knowing that Leicester want to perhaps open, open, want to perhaps open their game as well, how we can look at some of our defensive learnings and then turn on, on his heads for us to get some ascendancy as well. And as backs coach, you're looking at the resources you've got available for you. Um, we saw a couple of players returning against Leicester. We've got Keenan Fonatia due to come in in a few months' time, hopefully towards the end of October. It, more, more armoury, more power and more options as well. Yeah, it's, it's getting healthier to, to a certain degree. Uh, really pleased to have Ashley Beck back in the fold and Dav Howells after you know coming through last year and getting the, the injury around a, a European debut. Uh, but he's matured and uh, starting to see a little bit of growth in him off the field and then just trying to channel the right rugby attributes in the right place with some defensive learning coming through for Dav. I'm pretty excited there. But uh, Ash as well, if uh, we can just manage him and keep him healthy around... Uh, you know, a large part of the year he's going to obviously help a large part of where we can take this team as well because he's such a connector for what we're trying to do offensively and defensively there's a bit of uh, understanding whether it's at 12 or 13 because um, you know, said we have obviously got Keelan coming in and a couple of the youngsters are starting to show a bit um, offset by Owen's injury as well you know that was uh, you know a big blow for us you know such a, a young man who was having you know such a good summer in terms of where we wanted him to be but yeah there's a good number of backs training and we'll see a few more of them in the mix this week and you know, start to get a bit of shape for Leicester.